Hello! Welcome to my studio. I'm Beth Helfter of Eva Page Quilt Designs and today I'm going to show you how to do a half square triangle technique that I think I invented. I haven't seen anybody else do it, but maybe they do. But in any case, I'm going to show you how I do it, why I do it, and what ways you can use it in your quilting. So I call it accordion half square triangles. And you may have seen, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, people posting pictures from some of my classes of weird looking picket fancy accordion style sewn together squares like this. And you've probably been wondering, what the heck is the point of that? Well, I'm gonna show you. I like scrapping and I don't always like to make two half square triangles, which traditionally when you make half square triangles using two squares, a dark and a light, you put them together, you sew a quarter inch on either side of the diagonal and you end up with two exactly the same half square triangles. That's great. A lot of patterns you do need more than one that looks exactly the same. But when I do scrappy, I find two the same kind of boring. So I came up with this technique so that you can get different half square triangles every single time, but you're not wasting any fabric. As you can see, I have this little pillow right here and it shows that pretty well. This was made with half square triangles made of gray and purple. And if you can tell, I don't know how close I need to be. If you can tell each purple and each gray is in here somewhere, but every time you see this purple, it's not gonna always be with the same gray. In fact, it's never going to be with the same gray. So let me see if I can show you. Here's this purple right here, and it's with this kind of fancy scrolly gray. Now, if we look for it again, oh, here it is way down here, so that's not a gray. Here it is down here with kind of a honeycomb looking gray. So I didn't make two different sets of half square triangles and then just choose one of each. What I did was this accordion style. So in order to do this, this is the most basic style where we're just gonna go alternating two different color families. So what you need is however many squares you like. I'm just gonna demo with six. I got six in a gray family and six in the teal family. And I did, for purposes of this demo, draw a line down the diagonal on the back. Those of you who know me know that I think drawing a line is about the pr most primitive thing we do as quilters and I generally don't do it, but I wanted you to be able to see where it was on here when I start sewing. You can cut these to whatever size you generally cut to whenever you're making half square triangles. I always go up to the nearest half inch. If I'm gonna make three and a half inch square half square triangles, which is what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna to cut to four inches. I know that a lot of people like to cut to three and seven eighths, which is the traditional way. I personally think that's crazy. If you want extra work for yourself, go for it, but I went right up to four. It's just easier for me. But whatever you normally would cut them to, to make the three and a half or the four and a half or whatever you're gonna do, square triangles, you go ahead and cut those. So the next step is going to be sewing them together and that's gonna be the next video. 